Hi, I'm Joseph Kateri, and I just moved into a new house. As you can see, I have the same old setup, but I just moved into a new house. Uh, I'm in a lot bigger room now. Uh, my setup's not perfect, so that's why the camera angle's weird and shit like that, but like, I'm in a new house. Anyways. If you're watching this video, you're probably interested in making the infamous 1998 Half-Life video game into a wonderful VR adventure. And I have good news, it's possible. That's, that's why you clicked on this video. <laughs> and I personally have been using this method ever since I bought the entire Half-Life franchise back on a Steam sale. Alright, but first, let's take a look at this. Somehow, it just keeps increasing, the number never stops going up. I currently have a 98% not subscribed rate instead of the 97% I had a few weeks ago. So uh, maybe let's try to, let's maybe try to get back down to 97%, pretty please, like cherry on top. Subscribe, uh, I would be happy. Okay, so today specifically we are looking at how to install Half-Life 1 on your Oculus Quest 1 or 2. And I am specifically talking about the original Half-Life game, Half-Life 1, not Half-Life Alex, not Half-Life 2, etc. Alright, before I get into the actual uh, tutorial, I just wanted to give a huge uh, amount of credit to Dr. Beef as he is the creator of this mod that lets you turn Half-Life into VR. I take zero credit, I'm literally just showing you how to install it. So there's two main things that you're going to need in order to make this tutorial work for you. Uh, the latest version of SideQuest, as well as a legit copy of Half-Life. That one's important. It has to be a real version because we have to go into the Steam files for this. And this is for Half-Life regular, not Half-Life Source or anything, just the regular Half-Life. If you don't have the regular Half-Life, you're like, oh, it's too expensive. Uh, it's normally $10, which isn't a lot already, but it pretty much goes on sale every single holiday for Steam sales. That's how I got mine. And there are some maybe not so legal websites that you can use to purchase it for as little as, I've seen it for $1.50. All right, now for the actual tutorial, you know, the boring part. All right, so you're gonna wanna go ahead and just open up SideQuest. As you can see, I have it open here. And I have my Oculus device connected via a USB-C cable. And in the top left of SideQuest, it has a little green uh, dot, which means it's successfully connected. Now, after this, you're gonna wanna go ahead and just put on the headset quickly and then click the button that says like, allow device to be connected to computer, allow data to be shared to computer device, whatever the hell it says, just click accept on it, click okay on it. it. It just lets you connect to your computer easier. Also make sure that air link is turned off. That usually gives a bunch of connection issues, you know, because it's trying to do virtual and wired at the same time. So just make sure your air link is turned off in your Oculus settings. All right, now you're gonna go on the search and type in Lambda and you're going to want to go on this, Lambda 1 VR Half-Life in VR by Dr. Beef Game Ports. Now what you're going to want to do is click install to headset and now just wait for it to install and as you can see I have mine installed right here, Lambda 1 VR. Alright now you're going to want to go ahead and go on Steam and make sure that Half-Life the original game is actually installed, as you can see mine says play, meaning I've already installed it, so install it if you haven't already. I think it's like 500 megabytes, so hopefully it's not too long for you. Uh, subtle flex, I have gigabit. Honestly, it's it's really cool considering my old upload speed was like 3, or my old download speed was like 3, so I mean it's... I don't know, I kind of feel good about myself having gigabit now, so... Alright, now you're going to want to go ahead and open up your file explorer at the bottom and then just click this PC and your quest should be connected as long as you went into your device and like clicked allow computer to be connected, whatever, allow data, whatever. As long as you click that button in your actual Oculus, then it should come up here. You just double click, double click again. And now you're in this menu right here. Now there should be a lot of stuff in here, but what you're going to do is you're going to want to right click, click new folder and you're going to want to name it Z-A-S-H, Zash, whatever that means. It has to exactly be named Zash. Now go back onto the Half-Life game that you installed, right click it in your Steam, click Manage, Browse Local Files, and it's going to come up with this. Now you see this whole Val folder? Just right click it and click Copy. And now go back here, go into your Zash folder and just paste it right here. Just right click anywhere and click Paste. And now at this point, you're going to want to grab your Oculus Quest, hold down the power button, and fully restart the device. 
Alright, now that we installed the actual game itself, now we have to install the graphics packs for it. This makes the game run smoother and look better in general, you know, because the game's from 1998. And by the way, if you wanted to get links to SideQuest or Half-Life on Steam, uh, as well as the graphics packs I'm about to talk about, then go into the description below. While down there, check out my Discord, Instagram, TikTok, and even the music that's playing right now. Now we're actually going to do stuff in the VR system itself, so go ahead, put on your VR headset, and then go to Apps. And in the top right, click all apps or whatever it says, go to unknown sources and then click Lambda VR. You're going to want to open a game and then just let it load in, you know, get on the train station, get on the, what is it called? The, the trolley, whatever it's called, get in that, let the lo game load in, and then you can just exit it. We just did that so that we can get the texture files created in the uh, system settings. Now, you remember this folder, how I right-clicked Steam and went into the Half-Life folder where you find the Valve? There should actually be a Valve HD that also comes up. Now, instead of copying the entire folder like we did with Valve, you're going to want to open Valve HD. You're going to want to just highlight all three of these or click Control A, right-click, and then click Copy. Now, we're back in the Zash folder right here. Here's the Zash folder. Also, don't worry about this command line.txt. We'll deal with that later. Uh, but open up Valve, again, in your Zash folder, right click anywhere and click paste. Now it says that you're going to, it says that the folders already exist. Uh, you're just going to want to click do this for all items and just merge them all together, replace all of them. And it should take a minute to do so. Now while this is going, I should preface this by saying this will make your game run a little bit worse. Just because, again, we're basically forcibly upgrading the graphics on it from a 1998 game. So if you are if you end up playing and it's lagging very badly, then what you're going to do is in this Valve HD folder, you're going to want to open up the models. And for the models, you're actually only going to copy two types of model. All these Barney ones right here, you're going to want to copy those. And all these scientist ones at the bottom, you're going to want to copy those as well. The rest, just leave out. It's not that big of a deal if you have them. The Barney and the scientists are the one that you're going to notice the most, so those are the only ones that are super needed. Alright, now that it's all copied in here and replaced all the old ones, then we're all good for graphics pack number one. Now we're going to go ahead and install one more graphics pack for Half-Life VR. Now you're actually going to want to go into a Reddit post that is linked in the description, download and extract it from there. Now again, this graphics pack is actually optional as all graphics packs are, it just makes your game look better and it's actually one made by a community member. So once you're on this reddit post that is linked in the description, you're going to want to scroll down and go ahead and click download HL Gold HD. It should be the blue link. You're going to want to just click this, right click it, and then click download. It's going to say it's a virus, whatever, just click download anyways, it's not a virus. By the way, if you couldn't tell, we're pretty much following these exact steps linked in the reddit post, so if you don't want to listen to my annoying ass, you can just read the instructions right here. Alright, so I'm on my desktop right here, here's the folder, I'm gonna, I have WinRAR, so if you don't have WinRAR or, seven, or 7-zip, whatever, you're gonna want to get it, because that's an extraction tool, I'm assuming you already have it, and if you don't, just look up a tutorial. So right click, extract to, alright, it already finished, here's the new file, we're gonna go ahead and just delete the old one, because we don't need it, just wasting space. And now we're actually going to go into this Zash folder again. Surprise, we're in it again, whoa. So you see this HL gold? We're just gonna straight up drag it into the Zash folder like so. It's gonna take a while. It's all right if this takes a long ass time. I actually have a really good SSD and it's still gonna take me at least 10 minutes. So if it ends up taking a lot longer than that, don't fret as long as it's, you know, making progress. Bro, fuck this, I'm getting ice cream. Jesus Christ, finally. Oh my god. It's been like half an hour. It took so much longer than I thought it would. I don't even know if my camera died or not. Anyways, it's done. So now that your uh, Zash folder now has this new folder in it, you're going to want to find this command line. You're going to want to drag it to your desktop, open it, and then you're going to want to copy this line. Um, it's on screen right now. It's also in the description. Copy it exactly. Do not leave any of it out. Okay. And then just gonna go ahead and just erase whatever's there, paste in the entire thing, file, click save, X that out. This just improves the performance greatly. 
And now back to the Zash folder, you're going to want to just get the one from your desktop that has the edited line in it, drag it back here and copy and replace it. You're going to want to replace it. Make sure you do that and then exit out. And now you're pretty much done, actually. Now there's one final little thing that you have to do. Uh, when you go into your VR and you go into those apps and you start it up like you did before, uh, start up Lambda 1 VR, whatever, you're going to want to go to the options, go to video, and then click the allow materials button. You might want to check that off. That lets the graphics pack actually show in the game. And that's the final thing you have to do. All right, I've been recording for like an hour now. Uh, so by now you should have Half-Life running in VR using graphics that are much, much better than the 1998 standard ones. Anyway, this channel is all about making educational and entertaining VR content, sometimes recording for an hour apparently. Uh, so hit the bell and join my Discord to receive updates on when I upload. You can find links to my TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, and even music I use in this video down below. Have a nice day.